In anthropology and in many social sciences, we distinguish between sex and gender. These are terms that are usually used, uh, usually used interchangeably in everyday language, but in social sciences and anthropology in particular, we uh, understand them as two distinct terms. Uh, so we're going to start with the definition of sex. The definition of sex is, general, sex is generally taken to refer to the anatomical, biological, and physiological characteristics of female and male bodies. Generally speaking, human bodies exist uh, along a spectrum, and at the two ends of the spectrum, we um, describe one end to be male and the other end to be female. Now this is talking specifically about physiological bodies, so when we talk about sex categories, we're specifically referring to the biological being, so the anatomical, biological, physiological characteristics of our bodies. So this, sex is not the domain of anthropology, sex is the domain of biology and other fields. Uh, in anthropology we define this term simply to understand what it is that we're not studying, um, and so sex simply refers very narrowly to the physiological, uh, anatomical, biological differences. Generally speaking, when you look at the two ends of the spectrum, we call one end male and we call the other end female. As you'll see in the movie this afternoon, not everyone falls neatly into these binaries, but, uh, but that's what we call the edges. Um, in, uh, in English, we call those ends of the spectrum male and female, and when we say male and female, we're specifically talking about sex categories. Gender, on the other hand, um, is defined by the culturally specific symbolic articulation and elaboration of these differences. I know that's a bit of a mouthful. I'll say it one more time and then I'll explain what we mean by it. So ge gender generally refers to the culturally specific symbolic articulation and elaboration of these differences. In other words, gender are the social meanings that we map on to, the, to biological bodies. Um, in the United States, we generally recognize two genders, which we refer to as men and women, man and woman, very young, boy and girl. Those are cultural categories, and they're mapped onto the physiological categories. So the, the first part that's important over here is to recognize that there's a separation. There's what the body's doing, and then there are meanings that we ascribe to them. Right? So what the body's doing is the sex categories, the physiological, anatomical, biological categories. What the meaning that we ascribe to them are gender. So in the United States, we, have, we, ten, we tend to acknowledge generally two genders, men and women. Um, and I'm sure, I hope in your head you're kind of going, wait, but there's other categories. And that is absolutely true. And so we, this is why it's important to uh, complicate these issues. Um, so again, at the end of the spectrums, or if we, uh, in American society, we generally see things in, as a binary. So you're either a man or a woman, and we usually don't acknowledge anyone that exists sort of, that doesn't fit neatly into those categories either. They're between the categories, or they're parts of different categories. We, we don't like that in American society. American society likes its boxes, and if you fit into a box and, you have, and have a name for it, then we're happy. And if you don't have, uh, if we don't have a box for it, then we feel unhappy. It, it, it disturbs our, our inner peace.